I started a choir at the Christie Hospital about a year and a half ago um, and I managed to get funding for the first six months and had to prove it was beneficial to patients to um, try and identify more funding. Um, so the, the study is a small order type study um, looking at the perceived benefits of um, patients, carers and staff because it was open to anyone affected by cancer, the choir. Um, to see what their perceived benefit was joining the choir. Um, so the benefits were overwhelmingly positive. 100% felt they um, were happier joining the choir. Um, they felt it did affect um, their emotional well-being in a positive way um, and also their physical well-being. A lot of them felt it was like a workout that um, there was also a bit of, some of them talked about it being like a brain gym, having to remember the words. The other benefit that quite a lot of the patients mentioned was breathing. And we know that you have to work hard with your breathing when you were singing, and that can help with um, your, your, your muscles and your breathing. Um, so it was another added benefit. We have, we have secured funding now, and we have increased the number of times we meet from fortnightly to weekly. We've also joined up now with the Maggie Centre, um, so we collaborate with them. Um, the, the choir is going from strength to strength and I think what amazes me for something that was, was fairly simple to set up, there's a huge benefit to, to patients and not only patients but carers and staff also. Um, it's quite a, a, it's a very positive and, and, and joyful thing to sing um, and that came over overwhelmingly with the patients in terms of what, they, what the benefits they got from it. Um, so we are hoping to expand it. We have had a little bit of media coverage. We've been in the Gareth Malone's The Choir series recently um, and that's helped us to get the word out there that it is beneficial and that um, it's, a, it's a, a positive thing to do um, when you're going through treatment or when you're affected by cancer in some way. We actually have a couple of um, uh, people that come who have lost partners in the hospital and they still feel that connection with the hospital and it's something that's that's they've come back to the hospital for in a, in, a, in a positive way and they get a lot of support from that. I think the, the, the one thing I would like to say is um, with carers and patients that one of the things they have found it was a really positive reason to come to the hospital so it was something that was enjoyable and positive and that they benefited from um, and they were happy to do that and we have we have a lot of regular members now and, and that number is growing. Um, so it's something that's been successful and um, something that's quite simple and, and, and very cost effective to roll out to other hospitals.